When Leviticus 18 says, do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman. These so-called alternative lifestyles we keep hearing about, nothing more than plain, old-fashioned, hellacious sin. Kenya ain't your mother. She's just some broad that dropped the baby and ran. And you think you did any better than that? I think I plenty. But I was here. I was here and never stopped trying. Oh, man. She wasn't there for you before. She ain't gonna be here for you now. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark. And I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today we're going to be talking about Power Book 3 Raising Canaan Season 2. Will Jukebox and Kenya fall out? That is the topic of discussion. So down below, I want you guys to let me know exactly what do you think is going to happen in these last three episodes. Do you see Jukebox and Kenya having some issues down the line? Because we're getting close to the end. And based off this last episode, you know, with Jukebox hooking up or at least making out with Corey. And of course, the pastor going over those scriptures, talking about, you know, sins and stuff like that. I got a feeling things are about to get real, real serious in these last three episodes. So we're going to talk about that in today's video. Now, you guys, make sure you checked out my last few videos. I dropped an exclusive clip between Jukebox and Kanan yesterday. Everybody was talking about that clip because it seems like your boy Kanan, he's like, look, I'm getting up out of here. And maybe Kanan read that note that Detective Howard gave him. And it seems like based off that clip, he's pissed off and he is tired of all the lies that Rock continues to tell him. So check that video out as well as the video that I did on your boy Lulu. I believe he's making some bad moves and it's not looking too good for your boy Lulu because he's moving off emotions and he needs to fix this very quickly. And also check out the video that I did on your boy Marvin, his fate. Will he be able to survive the Italians? It's getting crazy. Those Italians, they ain't playing around. We know in the next episode, Sal Bocelli, he wants to know what happened to his son and who was working with him. So continue to follow the playlist, continue to keep this stuff updated on all the latest power news. And I will continue to give you guys these videos. But let's talk about the topic of discussion. Jukebox Kenya is getting real serious each and every episode. It seems like Jukebox, she is trying to impress her mother time and time again. But Jukebox, she's living a lie because we know Jukebox, she doesn't really want to be with Corey at all. She only got his number or gave her number up to him because she knew her mother was watching. And she wanted to show her mom's like, look, you know, I'm attracted to boys. You know what I'm saying? I want to, you know, go out on a date with Corey. I'm good. But that's not the case because we know deep down inside, they ain't who Jukebox really is. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't really dress like that at all. She only did it to impress her mother. And yes, she did get more attention when she changed up her style. You know what I'm saying? She likes that attention that these guys are giving her. But deep down inside, that's not who she really is. Now, in the last episode, that pastor, he was going over those scriptures and we know he was talking about all those sins and he was talking about Jukebox's lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? The alternative lifestyle that especially back in the 90s, it was looked and frowned upon, right? And that's going to be an issue, in my opinion, for Jukebox and her mother, Kenya. Now, this whole Jukebox and Corey thing, it's not going to work out. I really believe something's going to happen in these last three episodes. Corey may just try to push up on Jukebox. He may try to, you know, take it to the next level. And I think Jukebox may turn him down. And something's going to happen where that whole thing is just going to end, right? That's what I truly believe. I don't think it's going to, you know, go on a deep type level between the two. And you can tell just based off Jukebox, you know, facial expressions. When, especially in the last episode, how she was looking when her and Corey, they made out and she walked away. She just had a different type of look on her face like, man, I don't know about this. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool on him. So I don't believe it's going to work out. Now, we know in the last episode, Marvin and Jukebox, they finally had a conversation. Um, Marvin still did not apologize. I saw people say, why didn't he say sorry? And he's going to have to tell her sorry for what happened. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to have another conversation about what happened between the two last season. And hopefully Marvin, you know, can tell her that he is sorry. He know he messed up and he wants to do better. Hopefully he can or he gets the opportunity to do that. Um, 
But we know Marvin told Jukebox about Kenya. He didn't know Kenya was there. He found out. And of course, he was upset that Jukebox did not tell him about her. And he's telling her, like, look, Kenya, she's not going to be there for you. She left me in you. And, you know, now she's back all of a sudden. But she's always going to be for her, not you. She's not a mother. This is what he is telling Jukebox. And, of course, Jukebox is like, well, you know, yeah, she did what she did. But you didn't do any better. You know what I'm saying? Of course, she's going to have issues with Marvin. Marvin does state that, yeah, he messed up, but he stayed there um, and he's still there trying to fix things with her. Regardless, when it's all said and done, regardless of how Jukebox feels about Kenya and what Marvin is telling Jukebox about her mother, I'm going to tell you right now, I believe Marvin is telling the truth. I believe when it's all said and done, when Kenya finds out about how Jukebox really is, that's going to be an issue and Kenya may just go the other route. She may have some opinions, some strong opinions on Jukebox's lifestyle, seeing how deep she is in the church. We know Kenya used to get down back in the day. We know she used to get loose. You know what I'm saying? That girl, based on what Lulu was saying, I'm pretty sure she lived a crazy lifestyle. So it makes sense on why Kenya is so invested in the church, you know, trying to change her lifestyle. She's trying to push this same type of style on Jukebox, make her do the things that she sees that's right. She wants Jukebox to do those same things, but we know eventually that's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be something. So I ask you guys, do you believe it's going to be a fallout between Kenya and Jukebox? I honestly believe it is. Now, I'm hoping that Kenya can say, you know what, daughter, you know, this is how you want to live. And that's who you are. So be it. I respect it. I may not agree with it, but I respect it. And, you know, I'm going to treat you the same way. Hopefully that happens. But let's just be honest. I don't think that is going to happen. Kenya has been nice thus far. We haven't seen her get angry, but it's coming. You know what I'm saying? We know she's going to slap the hell out of Marvin soon. It may just happen in the next episode. But we know she's going to slap him because Marvin probably going to go there and run his mouth to Kenya and piss her off. But Kenya is definitely about to show us another side. That's what I'm waiting on. Every time we see her, she's smiling and, you know, she's acting like everything is good. She's all in the church. She's a good old girl, right? But we know Kenya, she ain't a good old girl. She going to get ruthless eventually. And that's what I'm waiting to see. I just want to see how she's going to behave when she finds out about Jukebox and what's going to happen then. Because if she, you know, pushes Jukebox away, that's going to make Jukebox even more darker, which we know Jukebox is going to be a straight up menace. She ain't going to be playing around, right? And I just got that funny feeling once Kenya finds out the truth. She's going to be torn, y'all. She's going to be torn just like Latoya Luckett. And she's going to be pissed. And she's going to take it straight out on her daughter, on Marvin. I don't know, man. I, I, I just can't wait to see how they're going to write this out. Like I told y'all, I'm hoping that everything can be good and Kenya can just respect it. But based off how everything is going so far with the whole church thing, with how strict everything is on this religion and pushing a certain agenda, you know, Kenya is definitely going to have some opinions about the way Jukebox is living. And Jukebox, she going to probably be pissed off once Kenya does come at her, if she does come at her. It's going to be some issues. And I'm just waiting. I'm waiting on Jukebox to snap. Because then y'all know it's coming, right? Y'all know Jukebox about to turn up eventually. And I'm waiting for her to do it. But we going to see. And I also want to see how Rock is going to respond if Kenya does pop off. If Rock finds out about Kenya being disrespectful to Jukebox, you already know what time it is. Rock is not going to play around. She's definitely going to have some words for Kenya. She was already upset that Kenya was there and she didn't even come to Jukebox. She was in town. And she didn't even come to her daughter at all. And that pissed Rock off. So you already know Rock is already feeling like she want to put them hands on Kenya. You know what I'm saying? She wants to put them hands on her for real. And Rock, she may be right too. I mean, because she's pretty much told Jukebox that everybody ain't supposed to be in your life when, you know, Jukebox told her about Kenya. Rock wasn't feeling it at all. So I'm expecting it to be some tension in the air between those two if Rock does get involved. But y'all leave y'all theories, predictions. Leave it all down below. Y'all let me know exactly what y'all think is going to happen. We only got three more episodes left. So eventually this will get out. And once it does, y'all already know it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Now we will continue to talk about Power Book 3 Racing Canaan Season 2 this week. 
we have the final predictions video coming for you guys. Um, and, you know, and we may do some other videos. We shall see. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dart. I'm out. Peace.